M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're on RT Systems Radio Programming Software. We've just bought it. We don't need the cable because we have the SCU20 cable, but you can get it with the USB 77 cable provided by RT Systems. Otherwise, you just get the software version. You just put FTM400 here and just select software. And I can tell you now, it's well worth the $25 that you will pay. So here it is let's read the radio we've got the ftm 400 like i said connected via the scu 20 cable if you right click our device manager and make sure you've downloaded the usb driver from yesu just go to their site for that double click com port and it says prolific usb serial and don't worry i'm on windows 11 and the old cables do work if you have a problem just go update driver, browse computer, let me pick, and then just click an older driver, and it will work with, um, you know, with Windows 11 and an old SCU 1920 cable. Anyway, so that's all good. That's all connected. Now, first thing we've got to do is read the radio for the first time. So just in case you're worried about anything, I would back up to your SD card any you know what you've got on your radio if you're worried about losing that so put the sd card in the main unit and select backup for now we're going to go communications read data from uh, we're not got you we could use the sd card but we're going to read data using the cable so get data from radio and then we're going to follow instructions which are connect cable turn radio on press and hold the disp key for over one second and the setup menu appears so we'll do that there's the setup menu then it says uh, touch the reset clone or we can turn it with the knob or we can tap it like so and now select and touch uh, seven clone so I read that wrong select seven uh select number seven and it's clone so we're gonna select that and then we're choosing which one we want so we want uh this radio to other if it was because we're sending the information from this radio to the computer if we were sending radio information from the computer to this radio we would select the other one so we're gonna tap that and then this radio other uh, then it says click OK to computer. So we're going to click OK on the radio. And then we're going to click OK on the PC. So Also, it says it again here. We can do it again. Select touch this radio to other. Touch OK. So let's do that again. We're just going to touch this. And then we're going to click OK on, on the computer again. And then it starts to transfer what's on the actual radio. We'll just pause that. Right, it's coming near the end. And it says, turn the radio off and on. So we're going to turn it off. And I, I am a cheat. We haven't disconnected the cable. Right, back on. So the radio is back as normal. If we click OK, everything that's on the radio, which isn't a lot, will now populate. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to just add things like a repeater and then my hotspot. So we'll double click number nine, which is clear. And we'll type in my a repeater, 145.600, just to show you how this is. The shift has already been put in for us, minus. We can name it, which is GB3WR. It's just so simple. Name that we can small, create large or small text. We'll leave it at large. Tone mode. We're going to want just tone or tone squelch. We're going to use tone, and it's for that repeater. It's 94.8. Uh, we won't do any of the digital CT CSS type settings. Uh, TX power. Let's use medium. Uh, we won't skip it. Skipping it means if you're cycling on your memory search or memory scan, it will skip it. So we'll leave that off, and then the step we'll leave it as auto. So that's. Uh, a local repeater added. Now we'll add my hotspot, which is on four, three, uh, let me think now, four, three, eight, dot, five, seven, five. Now it's not a duplex hotspot, it's a simplex hotspot, so we need to change the offset to, to nothing, basically. 
Um, so I think we can just do that here, simplex, and it does it automatically for us. It's a digital narrow station for digital. How are we going to do that? Simplex 43. Ah, is it selecting it on the B band? Because on the B band, you can't have digital. No, for some reason, it's not letting me do that. It's not letting me select digital. So let's put auto for now. Uh, and then we're going to put my hotspot, which is, uh, let's just call it hotspot. Hot spot. Like so. 438575 simplex. Bit miffed why I can't select DN mode, but we can still send this to our radio. Hotspot, large, no tone. Da 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 da. Okay. So that's two channels entered. Now AMS will select digital anyway when I turn the radio on. If you just, when you select the mode on the DX here, look, if we go like that and just go with a DN, see that red DN, then it's going to automatically switch to the, the right one anyway. Um, I'll let you know why I couldn't see DN as I learned because the first time I've used this. B memories, remember on B memories, um, you can't, that it doesn't cover all the bands as you can see here. It's just showing 77s at the moment. And then you've got some more selections here B, home band A, home band B. The other thing you can do, if we flip back to band A memories, you can, you could name, you can actually change the name of, of the tab. Each time you read to the radio and back, it will actually open a new tab. Uh, now, settings wise, if you're talking about radio menu settings, look, they're all here. Click up here, settings. I'll just show you again. Settings, radio menu settings. And then you get this amazing vast page of menus. Common one, look, there's a load there. Colors of the screen, band A, band B, auto power off. Uh, just, I need to just carefully look at all this. USB camera size. Can that be changed, can it? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, there's my call sign down there. Common 2, a load more there. DTMF stuff. So you can add a DTMF memory. So for uh, I could put something like, I think, 41522 is my all-star. We could put in all-star. Things like that. Uh, what else? APRS settings, which is, you know, the whole, instead of going through that long menu you've got on the radio, you just add it all here and send it. Beaconing, group monitoring, I've not used any of that. Uh, uh, apply settings, why not? Let's just put yes. Okay, um, so the other good one will be to add our local repeater. So if we click 11 here, then go to file and click external data and go down to repeater book. Now, luckily, repeater book are involved with RT systems. So I'm near Bristol. So we're going to select two meter and 70 centimeters. And we're going to go for in a 50 mile radius. Obviously, if you were moving around the country, you could choose whatever you like or around the world. Click OK. And it's going to give us a new window repeater book. And look at all this that we can add to our radio. So this is how we're going to add it. We're just going to click Control C. Let's just try, actually let's do a create file for FTM 400 first here at the bottom. Create the file a, so that makes it a more usable file. Let's try Control C now. Let's just see if I maybe I have to click at the top. Now I'll go Control C. No. Control V. No. Okay, that's not working. But there is another way. You can hold your thing, you can click here at number one and just go down. I'm not sure why it didn't do that for me with the control C. Now go here, then go file, now go edit, then copy. Now I've just copied all of those repeaters. I'm now going to go back to my original file, click here where it says 11, and then I'm going to go edit paste and look we just now added all those repeaters um, plus we've got our favorite channels we can we've added our repeat our hotspot we've added a local repeater you can add whatever you like you can add a load of simplex channels as well so remember I'm learning this I'm just showing you as I learn this is my diary as I learn stuff I, I put it on my 
uh, my YouTube channel. So now we're going to send it to the radio. So we go communication, send data to radio, and then we're going to follow the instructions again. So it's saying press and hold the DISP. Then it says go down to reset clone at the bottom and touch the screen. Then it says go down to number seven and touch the screen. And this time we're going to select other this radio, like so. And then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to click OK on the screen as well. And look, it's already sending the data from my PC to the radio. And when it completes, we'll show you what it's done. So as I said, I'm new to this software. Please don't message me saying that I don't know what I'm doing because I'm new. Uh, but I'm showing you as I learn. Um, I do think this software is worth getting. In the UK, when the, uh, the US to GB dollar is good, this is only about £20 and, it, and it's forever. And it, you are stored in their database that you have downloaded this software with your call sign and your special number. And even if you forget your number, you can message them and they'll help you out. They even do, RT Systems even do online help. Uh, and they will actually go into your computer and help you out there as well. Let's see if I can uh, find the remote help. There it is there. Click that while we're waiting. See that? And then you've got how-to videos, knowledge base, home channel, all the different software. I think they do every radio you can think of. Remote help, yes, get yourself an account, just log in, it's free, isn't it? So, Right, we're getting there. So can you message me with any experience you've had? Look, and if you look down here, look, you've got all the different makes of radio here. And, and, and that's it. And they've been doing this since, I think, 1995. So a wealth of experience, and they're just there to help you out and, and make it a little bit easier for you to program your radios. Uh, Yesu, I would say, is one of the easier ones. The harder ones, for me, I would for program is ICOM, to be honest, with the, the DR mode. But anyway, right, that's completed. The radio says completed. It reboots automatically. And if we go into memory mode, let's hit VM here. We'll do A and B. Just hit the bottom channel knob. Right, they're both in memory mode, and we'll go to the A band. And that will be tuned through. Look, all the names are there. Look, there's GB3, my local, one of my local repeaters. GB3WR, which I don't think we can get from here with a rubber duck on this radio. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> so no problem. But anyway, that's okay. I need to um, connect a, a more juicy, powerful power supply to, to my radio. And we'll just keep flicking through, like so. And that's it, really. I can't really say any more. Thanks to RT Systems. Could show you how to save it. If you go to the, the one we've, this is the one we used, the first tab. If we go save, and then we go to a file on our computer. Let's go to desktop, see if I've got a file that's called FTM 400. If not, you just right click, go new folder, we'll call it FTM 400, like so, we'll go save, name the file, so 2022 FTM 400 and click save. And we've now can bring that file in, so if we close these tabs, like so. I'm going to say no to saving. And then we would go file, open, find that file. Is that the one there? And there it all is. And we can do what we like with it. And don't forget, the other thing is, I can copy and paste this. Not sure why it didn't copy and paste earlier. So you control C, go edit. Copy. I think maybe you have to press copy first and control C. No, I'm definitely doing something wrong there. 
edit, copy, copy. Now if I if I just do it like this, click there and go down, that works. So not I'm not really sure why that's not working. It should work. Anyway, let's copy it anyway. Copied that. Now if we go to, I've got some other files here from another radio. So if we go to 991, file that up, and we click here, and we go edit, paste. Look, and see we're moving around all our memories from one radio, which is the 991, to the FTM 400. And obviously you can jig around with that and make sure that you're going to put in things that do work. But do you see why that the RT system software makes so sense? So much, much sense. So thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, catch you on now. All the best.